Hey guys, this is Naresh. So today we will learn one more interesting topic in APM. Uh, so I have already turned on my server for APM and I have opened Visor so that I can see my mobile on the screen. All right. So if you don't know that uh, how to do that, please refer to my previous videos and then you can know that uh, how we can go ahead. So here I will just tell you the logic which we need to put. But uh, the other things and setup and all those things, please look into my previous videos. Okay, so see what happens sometimes that let's say I have an app. Okay, so this is our app. All right, so what happened that whenever sometime when we are working on some apps or when we are testing on some apps, there is a need that I need to switch to a different app. Okay, because uh, if you look into the code here, so here we are not giving any driver.get like we gave in a Selenium websites to open the websites, right? So by default, you know, whatever uh, the app package and app activity I have given, uh, my APM server is opening that activity, okay? But it might possible that uh, when I am working on uh, my app, usually my app remains the same, but sometime I need to switch to a different app. And uh, it mainly happened, I have seen that, you know, when you're working on one app, maybe you have to switch to different app because you want to do shopping on some different websites because sometimes there are some workflows in some of the app and there's a button called, you know, you can shop. Uh, for example, you know, sometime in the bank website has also happened that if you open some bank website like, uh, you know, any ICIC bank or anything, there's a link there which says that, you know, you can from by clicking on that link, you can do a shopping also. And then again, once you do a shopping, you know, you come back to the same app of ICIC where you can do a checkout. So these kinds of things happens and there can be some other scenarios also. So if this is a requirement that we need to switch to a different app, so how can we do that? So it's very simple. So what happened that uh, in the APM, like by default, there is one application open, which is our own application. After that, what we want that, you know, it goes to the in background. Okay. Then let's say I have one more app. This is Visor. Okay. I have to click on this Visor app. Okay. So I'm not doing any shopping here. I'm just telling you how you can switch and how you can do different operations. So let's say I want to, you know, go to the second app and I do some operation. Maybe I am reading a text here. Okay. I print the text and then again go back and then again I go back to my original one. Sorry. To my this one. Okay. This is what my requirement is that I need to switch to the app and I need to come back to this app again because this is a real time scenarios. It will happen when you're working on the mobile testing. Okay. So how would I do that? So you know that this is my uh, setup, so which I have already done in the previous uh, videos. I will not show you and will not explain you uh, what it is. Please look into the previous videos for this. Okay, so this is my test case. So here I need to logic through which it can switch to a different app. So let's assume that my when uh, this is program is running, it is on my default app. Okay, and now I need to switch to a different app. So simple, I will give driver dot start activity and what does it take it take two parameters one is your package name and one is your activity name so for that you have to create an object of the activity class okay and you know to create an object i have to give new and then activity okay and here i have to give my package name and here i need to give my activity name Okay, so this will be the package name and activity name of the new package. Okay, of the new application. So let's see what it is. So if we go here, okay, let me just go back. All right, so you know that uh, in our previous video, I have told you. So in order to see the package and activity, you can simply install app info from uh, Play Store. This is one of the free application. If you go here, it will show you various, uh, you know, active, various applications which are there on your uh, mobile. I'm saying computer on your mobile. Okay. So just type the name of the application here. So, you know, it has searched for the visor. If you click on here, either you can click on this and then view main fist file, which has all the information of the activity and package name. Or from this screen also, you can see there's a package name given here, which is com. Uh, Kaushi data dot visor. Okay. And then there's an activity. If you see here, there are two launch activities. These are grayed out. So that's mean through these two activities, I can launch my application. 
okay so what's the name one is tip activity and one is start activity so if I click on this it gives me start activity which is what I want okay so let me go back and there's one more which is called tips activity so I can launch any activity which I want all right so what I will do I will try to launch this activity okay so for that I will take a screenshot of that so you know in uh, is, is it open okay it's open okay so you know that whenever you want to look into that you have to call auto uh, UI automate viewer if your path is set for the UI automate viewer you will be able to launch it if the path is not set then in that case you have to go to your Android folder and in that you will find the UI automator viewer let me just show you okay see Android SDK uh, maybe in platform tools no it was in bin folder no add-on platform tools with tools okay so here is the bin folder see this is a UI automator viewer.bat which you can directly click and run but if you have set this path in environmental variable you can do it from the command prompt also okay so once it's open you have to just take a screenshot of uh, your mobile so whatever is open in your mobile will it will take a screenshot and from here you can just copy this data okay for example if you want to you know copy this start activity so this is our you know activity name the first name is activity okay after the application name the first name is activity so you have to just copy this okay and put it somewhere I have already put it start activity and the same way uh, okay so maybe you know I have to just scroll here again and then take a screenshot so at the title you will see the package name also see this is a package name okay so you have to just copy this package name and you have to put it in your notepad first okay so this is what I need to put in my uh, package name and activity so it's the same thing I will do here I will do a copy and I will go here I will give a package name and I will give her this one the activity name okay let me just remove this plus symbol okay Alright, so now we have given the package name and the activity. Now what we want to do, uh, we just want to make sure that we are on the correct activity. So we will, you know, we can even print the package name which has been opened currently. So for that, I can give one sys out, system dot out dot println. Okay, current activity. package name is and I can give here driver dot get get current package okay so this will print the package name now what I need to do now so if you know that I have told you like let me show you on that visor go back okay now assume that uh, our we have switched to this visor activity so what I need to do now I need to you know locate this button and I need to get the text of this button so how would I do that so again I will take a screenshot of that okay and if I click on here it gives me the source ID as this okay so I will take this source ID and put it here okay it's right there okay and I will just give here the way we, we try to find any text so that would be driver dot find element by dot ID and here I can give this name the ID dot get text okay and uh, maybe I can store it somewhere so I will call it as string button text okay so here I am printing the text and uh, once it is done then what I will do I will try to switch to my previous activity again so the same thing which we have written here 
driver to start activity I will copy this and I will go ahead and change the activity name and the package name so this is my package name okay so I am giving my package name here is it okay that's correct I will just sell android.testf and I am giving my activity name here all right and after that I will again try to print the package name where I am so that I can know I am at the right place okay so see what we are doing right now uh, where is my mobile okay here so once we come here we are reading the text then when again we are going back and we are opening this okay so this is the logic which we are putting right now I am not doing anything else right now the logic which we can put uh, you know it depends upon your requirement that what you need to click on this application but here I'm just telling you how to switch between the applications all right now what we can do we can just try to run it so let me just come to the home screen first okay now let me run this so this is our actual device okay this is not an emulator okay All right, so let's see if you want to see the logs you can see in APM or you can see here also But if you open the APM logs also, you know, you will get an idea what is happening Okay So see it has opened the visor It has printed the text and it come back to our previous activity again. Okay, so basically activity are the different pages So don't get confused when I say activity activity are the different pages of an application Okay so if you see there, it was first says, saying currently this activity, then current activity package name is this. Okay. See where we are getting this printed currently running as test app because they are here I have given in my uh, in my setup setup method. Okay. I can maybe I can give so that's more clear. Okay. So this is running from there, and then we have come to the method which says this is my new package name okay and once it get printed it has not printed the text oh uh, we have not printed the text so maybe you know we can print the text here uh, dot print ln text is and then we can give button text okay so that it can print the button text all right, so let's try to run it again and then we will see okay so let's try to run it again so run run as test ng test okay so I hope it will it will be able to print the text button so that is my APM okay see can you see that it has printed the text for us here here if you see so it has gone to the package this is Kaushi Dutta visor then test is next and then it has come back to our old package and old activity okay so this is the way you can switch it's very simple not much difficult you have to give this driver dot start activity new activity and then package name and then activity name so this is the crux if you you know understand this you able to write any program for switching the application all right so that's it for this video if you like the video please like it and share with your friends also if uh, you know it is helpful for you thank you